Today, 78% of all developers worldwide use JavaScript. So it's hardly surprising that so many people want to learn the language or improve their JavaScript skills. And if you are one of them, you are in the luck. There are many ways to do it. Getting a college degree, taking a course or watching some tutorials. And there are books, awesome books. My name is Daniel and today we will talk about 3 great JavaScript books from the beginner level to professional. And just so you know, I have left all links to the books I am going to mention soon in the description. Let's go! A smart way to learn JavaScript Let's start with what's, in my opinion, the best entry-level book for beginners. It's called A Smarter Way to Learn JavaScript. This book is made for people who are starting to learn JavaScript programming and don't know anything about it. It focuses on helping you understand and remember the right way to write code. It teaches you the basics step-by-step step, like variables, if-else statements and loops. It also covers some more complex ideas like where variables can be used and prototypes. As the author himself says, I wrote the book and exercises especially for people who are new to programming, making no assumption about what you already know. I walk you through JavaScript slowly and patiently. I explain every little thing in 6th grade English. And I avoid unnecessary technical technical jargon like the plague. Now I'm not gonna lie, when you first look at the table of contents in this book it might seem scary. 89 chapters. But don't worry, as soon as you start reading it, you will see that the chapters are short. Everything is explained well and you will get extra online exercises. One more thing to keep in mind is that some of the tasks have a time limit. This means you have to answer them fast without much thinking. And this might be tough, especially when you need to write a lot of code quickly. That's why I would personally recommend practicing after each chapter and before you get to the exercise. Exercises. Do some small and simple projects and then do the online exercises. That should help a lot. Author Mark Mayes is a computer science enthusiast with many years of experience as an educator. He is very passionate about teaching and does his best to make the learning process as easy and fun for his students as possible. I think that's definitely the right person to write a book for JavaScript beginners. And I like this book. Why is this book cool? The first and foremost thing that I like about this book is how user-friendly it is. Each chapter teaches you just a bit that you can understand in about 10 minutes, so you don't have to handle a big topic all at once. The explanations are in simple words that anyone, no matter their background, can easily get. Another thing I appreciate is how practice heavy it is. It's specifically designed to make you spend more time practicing than reading. Every single chapter comes with online exercises. And exercises, and I think it's the best way to memorize what you have learned. And this is especially important for beginners. Alright, let's move on to the next book. Eloquent JavaScript Guys, before I continue, please hit the like button and subscribe, because it helps my small channel grow faster. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss my new videos. The next book I recommend is called Eloquent JavaScript. Guys, this is an excellent book for beginners and intermediate level JavaScript developers. It offers basic concepts like functions, control structures and data structures. At the same time, it describes more complex things like error handling, bug fixing, modularity and asynchronous programming. And once you have learned the theory, you can try it out with the help of practical tasks that book offers. To sum up, when you are done reading the whole book, you will be able to write code that clean, nice looking and useful. And here is a table of contents, just to give you a better idea what the book structure looks like. This book might look small, especially compared to the previous one, but you shouldn't expect to go through it fast. And the reason is the pretty tough problems. Some of them might take a while to solve. These difficult problems help you understand the material better, even though they slow down your progress. Author. 
Marine Haverbeck is a kind of genius. Over the years, he has worked with almost every programming language out there. He has tons of exercise when it comes to programming, JavaScript programming in particular. He is also a creator of multiple open source software pieces. Moreover, Marine is an incredibly interesting person. And I think this book is a great option to learn from him. I love the author's writing style. It makes it so easy to understand everything in the book, and that what really helps you get into JavaScript programming. Another great thing about this book is that it also has a lot of practical exercises to test your knowledge, and of course build your JavaScript skill. Alright, finally, the last but not least book on this list. Secrets of JavaScript Ninja I will tell you right away that this book isn't for beginners. And it's my favorite one. Yeah, it won't teach you the very basics. It's about things that go well beyond simple JavaScript projects. You will learn how to write robust code and how to work with DOM. And talks about really important things that are most known for any advanced JavaScript programmer. But if you are new to JavaScript or programming in general, again, this book isn't for you. All right, don't worry. You don't have to be super experienced to gain knowledge from this book. But before starting it, it is a good idea to understand basic things, how functions work, timing events and fixing mistakes. Once you start reading, you will notice that this book does something clever that is different from other books I read. It starts talking about debugging and testing right from the beginning. The majority of other books usually talk about these things at the end. And I actually like this approach, because when debugging and testing explained at the end, people just tend to skip those parts. Authors I have to say that the people who wrote that JavaScript Ninja were a part of these books appeal for me. I mean, you know, you will get your money's worth when you see that the book on programming is written by known experts. John Rissick is a well-known expert in JavaScript and the person who actually made jQuery. Pierre Bibol is a web developer and this guy wrote the first version of this book. He also helped write two other books about programming. Prototype and Scriptaculous in Action and jQuery in Action. And Josip Mares is a postdoctoral researcher and teacher. You might ask why this book is my favorite one. Why? I have dealt with JavaScript before and I wanted a book that doesn't just teach the basics, but also goes deeper into JavaScript. Actually, if you have this book and learn from it, you will know almost everything in JavaScript. In addition to that, this book is well structured and it explains complex concepts in an easy way. Besides, it's just a lot of fun to read. And I'm not gonna lie, this isn't an easy book to get through. But I believe that as a programmer, it's okay to challenge yourself at every step of the way. And this book does exactly that. So if you want to become a JavaScript professional, you should definitely have it in your library. So there are the three JavaScript books I would recommend you read on every step of your way to JavaScript proficiency. I left all the links in the description below. Check them out and decide which one is best for you. As always, like, subscribe and hit notification bell. Also let me know in the comments what is your favorite programming book. Think about it. Until next time.